welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today we are going on with this wonderful collection of stories about Tom Dorrance. The book's called More Than a Horseman and it's a real joy and an honour to be able to share these stories with you. I hope you love them as much as I do. So today's story is from Billy Dorrance. As I remember growing up on our ranch on Mount Toro, Uncle Tom would show up in the winter months to stay with us. He had his own small travel trailer that he slept in. He ate and did dishes in our main ranch house with us. I believe it was in the early 1960s and me and my twin brother Dave were around eight years old. Uncle Tom would help build fences, corrals and do ranch maintenance jobs and help with working our livestock. It was fun working with him because he always was coming up with ways to make jobs easier. It was interesting to watch him use a forge and a gas welding torch to make useful items to be used on the ranch. He was always making something a little easier to use than the original item. Uncle Tom had wooden sticks, had wooden stick matches in a little container he kept in his front jeans pocket. He used them to start small fires to warm our hands when working in cold winter weather. I learned that dry cow chips would burn and keep your hands warm on those cold winter days. He was always cautious to put the little fire in green grass so as not to start the ranch on fire. I now carry a bit lighter in my pocket. Uncle Tom also carried a small nylon cord string about 10 feet long in his jeans pocket, which came in handy to lead a horse or temporarily tie things up. I also now carry a small string in my pocket. It came in handy just the other day when I had to hold a horse when moving some animals from paddock to paddock and she wanted to go along. When Uncle Tom would leave the ranch in the spring of the year, he would wrap three single packs of dentine chewing gum with a $5 bill and give one to my two brothers and myself. He would say this gift was for us because we were good to him while he stayed on the ranch. When I was about 10 years old, I was helping Uncle Tom rebuild a wire livestock fence. My job was to hold the end of a bar, which was run through the centre of a roll of wire. One end of the bar was stuck through a hole in the fence. Uncle Tom told me to hold the end of the bar next to me horizontally, higher than the opposite end of the bar. He said if I let it get lower, the wire would come off the roll and get tangled. He started pulling the wire down the hill and was almost immediately out of my view. On the third wire Uncle Tom was pulling down the hill, I got to daydreaming about something and the next thing I realised I'd let the bar get lower than the other end. This allowed the roll of wire to slide into me and entangle in my shirt by my stomach. The harder I tried to get untangled from the roll of wire, the more tangled it got in my shirt. At this point, I started yelling to stop pulling the wire. It seemed like he couldn't hear me, so I kept yelling louder. The roll of wire suddenly stopped rolling. I got busy trying to get my shirt out of the roll of wire. I was hoping that Uncle Tom had reached the end point and was tying off the wire. I was wrong on that because he came up the hill while I was still trying to get away from the roll of wire. I apologised for the mess I got into and for causing him to have to walk up the hill to see why I was yelling. Uncle Tom said in a very calm, patient voice that what I just experienced was what sometimes a young person goes through to gain experience of life. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, thank you very much for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time. Mm -hmm.